Dear 11 standard students, in exercise number 7.4, sum number 3 third subdivision, identify the given matrix as a singular or non-singular matrix. Let us name this matrix as A. A. First of all, in the A matrix, the value 0 or confirm the principal diagonal. Principal diagonal or main diagonal la la entries me zero. Idi anakku first line la second term. Idi second line la first term. Apo main diagonal la rakra. Main diagonal la rakra. Elements la me zero. Apo all the elements. All the elements. In the main diagonal are zeros number one. Adi ka pro a one two o a two one no symbol mari irko parenge, righta? Idi third line la sorry first line la third element hai. Idi third line la first element symbol mari irko parenge. First line lagar third element to third line lagar first element to symbol mari irko. This is the second line of the third element. This is the third line of the second element. Third row of the second element. This is the second row of the third element. This is the symbol. A, 2, 3 is equal to minus of A, 3, 2. These are the conditions for a skew symmetric matrix. In the conditions, fulfill I, implies A is a skew symmetric matrix. Skew symmetric matrix. Yepodu me skew symmetric matrix a irundu dina. Ado de determinant value n of i dona zero y dom. Apo skew symmetric matrix na na determinant value zero. But determinant value zero under na le it is a singular matrix. A is a singular matrix. A is a singular matrix. Apo you can conclude that skew symmetric a irunda le. Ungu cancel na agda na. Singular matrix are married there. Since it is a skew symmetric, you open it. You will answer zero. If you declare skew symmetric, you will have to do the reasons. All the elements in the main diagonal is zero. That is A12, A13, A23, all the symbols are married. The same element is the same element. Therefore, it is a skew symmetric. Skew symmetric is the determinant value is zero. Okay? Thank you.